and welcome. I am Kate and I'm here today to tell you all about Cricut Infusible Ink. If you've not used it before, you're in for a treat. It really is amazing. Okay, so what is Infusible Ink? You can use Infusible Ink on all three Cricut machines, the Maker, the Explore Air 2 and the Joy. So this is perfect for all Cricut owners. You also need a Cricut Easy Press. For the heat transfer process, you need such a high heat that only an Easy Press will do. If you already have a Cricut machine, you've probably used iron on like this, and you've almost definitely used vinyl like this. So when you use these products, you're adding a layer of vinyl onto whatever blank that you're using. So with this bag, the iron-on is a layer on the top and then on this lunchbox, the vinyl is stuck onto the surface. Infusible ink is completely different and it will blow your mind. So instead of adhering to the top layer of your base material, the infusible ink actually kind of permeates the material and it becomes a part of it. It infuses. So you use your easy press to heat up the ink and transfer it onto your base, similar to iron-on, but to a much higher temperature. Let me show you some examples. So here we go. This bag here is created using infusible ink and you can see that any amount of stretching or washing or anything, the design isn't going anywhere. It's become a part of the fabric. It looks so professional, I can't even tell you. Whatever you do to the design, it won't peel, it won't flake, there's no edge, there's no extra bulk or weight and the colours are so vibrant. Here's an example of a coaster which has been made using infusible ink. It's in there as if it's dyed the base ceramic. It's incredible! So what does infusible ink look like? It comes in sheets like this one here. There's a carrier sheet which is the shiny layer underneath. And then the inked sheet on top is matte, like this. The sheets come in all sorts of different designs. There are solids, there are patterns, loads and loads to choose from. There's something for everyone. The colours are so bright. I love this tropical leaf one here and the pastels. Well, I love all of them, actually. Um, you'll notice that the colours on the sheets themselves are quite muted. This isn't how they end up on your finished design. So just bear that in mind. For example, here is some of this shell design. And then it looks quite different to what it looks like on the finished ceramic. And this is what it looks like on fabric. So it always comes up much brighter on the finished design than what it is on the sheet of unused infusible ink. Now you can also purchase infusible ink pens like these ones here. So you can use the pens freehand by drawing or writing onto regular copier paper, or you can have your machine draw or write a design for you. It's completely up to you. If you're using the machine, you just need to ensure that you have the Joy infusible ink pens for Joy, these shorter ones here, or the regular Cricut infusible ink pens for a Maker or an Explore Air 2. They work in the same way, so the ink infuses into the base material. They are brilliant for all sorts of uses, particularly if you have children. So my girls have both made several t-shirts and gifts with their own designs, um, like these ones here. So this one, um, my eldest daughter, we cut out the bicycle shapes using the machine and then she used the pen, that's from sheets of infusible ink, and then using the pen, she wrote out, oh, what a lovely day, and then we transferred that well and truly onto the fabric um, using the infusible ink pens. And then my other daughter, she made this lovely design for her nana. Um, she just drew it out on paper and then we heat pressed the paper with the infusible ink pens onto the ceramic. Okay, so what can you use infusible ink on? To make a project using infusible ink, you need to ensure that you have compatible blanks. They need to be made of the correct material or the colours just won't come out correctly. There's an ever-growing range of blanks in the Cricut range, 
including things like t-shirts, coasters, there are ceramic coasters and um, cork coasters as well. These can also be repurposed for all sorts of uses, by the way, like hanging decorations, all sorts. There are bags, cushion covers, makeup bags, bottle bags, all sorts. You'll notice that they're all light colours, so infusible ink can only be used on white or light colours. If you try to use infusible ink on a regular cotton t-shirt rather than one that's compatible with infusible ink, the colours just wouldn't come out properly and they'd like appear quite faded. Um, so you need to look for this logo here when you are purchasing blanks to use with infusible ink. When you are attaching your infusible ink sheet onto the mat, you need to make sure that the shiny side is face down and the printed side is face up. And it also really helps to use a brayer to make sure that there aren't any wrinkles or anything in your sheet. So then I'm just going to pop it into the machine, press go, and the machine will make the project in the usual way. Okay, so the maker has cut my design for me and now I have weeded the image from the infusible ink sheet, which you do in just the same way as if it was vinyl or iron-on with your weeding tool. Um, sometimes it's a little bit easier and you don't even need the weeding tool actually. So next thing we need to do is prepare the base. So more importantly than usual, you need to make sure that the base is completely flat and then it's free of any kind of bits of dust or rogue bits of thread or anything. So it's a really good idea to use a lint roller and go over your base just to make sure that it is free of anything that might kind of get in the way because that would distort the um, infusible ink image. The next thing you need to do is go onto the Cricut Heat Guide. So that's cricut.com forward slash heat guide. And once you're in, you just type in the um, material and the base that you're using. So we're using a Cricut Easy Press 2 with infusible ink transfer sheet and one of these cosmetic bags. So click apply and it just tells you that you need to preheat the Easy Press in this instance to 195 degrees and hold it on for 60 seconds. So I'm going to follow the instructions. So we've got the mat on the bottom and then we've got our blank, but we need to put some card inside the blank. We need to use this piece of card here. And by doing that, it means that the design won't transfer through to the other side of the fabric and it will just be on the top. And then get your design and as per it says on the heat guide, place it onto your blank face down so that the ink is facing the blank. There we go. And because this side is quite sticky, that will mean that it's held in place on the blank. Then you need to get some butcher paper. This comes with the infusible ink sheets and place that on top of your design. And let so let's just double check. It says stacking order. Easy press two, butcher paper, design face down, cosmetic bag with card inside, then the mat. Perfect, easy. The Easy Press has heated up to the temperature that it has told me to heat up to. So I'm just going to place that on top of the design, like so. And it says I need to apply light pressure. So I'm just going to apply light pressure to that, like it says, and press the green button. It's really important not to move the Easy Press around when you're setting the image onto your blank. If you do, you could find that you get a little bit of blurring of your image. Okay, so I've finished pressing the ink press down. I'm going to remove the butcher paper and then it can be really, really hot on here. So just be super careful when you're peeling back. Make sure you leave it to cool down a little bit. And then I'm going to carefully peel back my design. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. There we go. Must make stuff. Isn't that lovely? And as you can see, the, um, the colours are so vibrant on them, much more than they were on here. And also that you can see that the ink has all come off of this sheet, so that's now white, and it's all been transferred onto the blank. So there we go. It's as easy as that to make a project using the infusible ink sheets. You can layer infusible ink sheets and pens, 
just be aware that the as the colours are infusing the fabric, any lighter colours will get lost on top of darker ones. And you need to ensure that the previous sheet has cooled before you do the next one. But anyway, there we go. Love it. Next up, I'm going to show you how to make a project using the infusible ink pens. And this time we'll use a hard base. So we're going to make a gift using this ceramic coaster. So for this project, my daughter has already drawn a picture using the pens just onto some normal copier paper. We drew around the coaster as a template and then she filled in the space with her design. Um, of course, if they want to do some writing or if you want to do some writing, it needs to be mirrored. So what we did was we wrote on the reverse of the paper in pencil and then turned it over, popped it onto a bright pad and used the infusible ink pens to trace her design in mirror image on the other side. Okay, so we've got our blank ready and we've got our design ready. Next job is to consult the Cricut Heat Guide again and let it know what we're using. So I'm going to click on infusible ink pens this time and the base material is the ceramic coaster click apply and it tells us that we need to heat the easy press to 205 degrees and let it sit for 240 seconds. I'm not going to apply any pressure and we're going to do a cool peel. So the stacking order from bottom up is the easy press, easy press mat at the bottom and then some white card stock and then we're going to have the design face up on there. I always think with these it feels a bit like you're doing it the wrong way around but you've got to follow the instructions. So the design is face up on the card and then we're going to put the ceramic coaster blank face down onto the design. If you want to you can use some of the heat resistant tape that Cricut do just to um, fix your design in place onto the coaster. And then we're going to put some butcher's paper on the top and then the easy press. So this easy press is already heated up to the correct temperature. So I'm just going to carefully place it down, press the green button and let it sit on there for 240 seconds. Right, so we've had the easy press on there for 240 seconds. Now it's really, really important to let it completely cool down because the ceramic gets so hot. Okay, so the coaster has cooled down, I've flipped it over and now I'm going to carefully peel off the paper to reveal the design. Oh my gosh, it's amazing! So vibrant, can you see that? Goodness me, I think that my little girl's granny is going to absolutely love that. I think with this one we're going to attach some ribbon to the back and hang it up as a decoration. Goodness gracious, honestly it's so bright. So there we go. As you can see, the results are pretty impressive. From a product that's so simple, it's quite astonishing just how professional they look. The colours are so bright and they are completely permanent. So quick recap, there are three steps before you make your product and they are to choose your blank, choose your design or create your design and choose your infusible ink product. Once you've made your design on whichever of the three machines that you have and we did it, you just then need to check on the Cricut Heat Guide and follow the instructions on there to transfer your design onto your blank. There we go. I hope you've enjoyed learning about this product with me. If you have any questions at all, please just pop them in the comments box. Follow us online for more helpful ideas, tips and tricks for using your Cricut machine and lots more. Thank you so much for watching and happy cricketing. Bye bye.